Hey guys, it's Tegfire here, and a lot of you have been asking how to root your Kindle Fire HD, um, so you can start doing all the awesome stuff, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see, it's not rooted, I've reset this totally to stock, so let's get into this. <laughs> So guys, to root, you're going to have to um, have a file browser of your choice. Um, I'm going to use ES File Explorer because I think it's the best. And you're going to want to download these two files. The links will be in the description. And basically, you can download them directly onto your device or you can transfer them from a computer. But these, because they're APK app files, you're going to have to um, go swipe down, go more, device, and make sure allow installation of applications from unknown sources is turned on. So once you've done that, you can click on Keymaster Root and install this. And once you're done, you want to press open. So you'll see this. No idea what language is. You want to press the middle one, Malawi Root or whatever. Um, I don't know what that means. If any of you do, feel free to tell me. So then it will say this, and you just want to press root. I've worked out that battle or whatever it is means cancel. So um, this will do its thing. No, no idea what these mean. I'm yeah. And there we go. Then you get this final message. You want to press the red one, and it will say net. It probably will say this or something. But believe me, that is it. Your device is now rooted. So that is brilliant. Um, however, we do get this thing here that you'll actually find is undeletable. Um, problem with this is, is that it's not in our language. So we're gonna sort that out. So you want to go back into your file browser, I think I've knocked the camera a bit, and tap super su.apk. If we install this, get this up and running and open it up, and um, press continue, press normal, um, then you get this and you have no idea what this means, I'm assuming tolak is allow root maybe, yes. No, it is not. Okay, so that is going to be really annoying because you're never going to know what you're saying. I think that one per bulk. So obviously we're going to want to delete that. So this is what ins this is what Super Su is going to do for us. So let's do that normal, and this time it should work. Inst and then, so this will be another thing. This will do the same as the other one, except it will be in English. So then, after you've done that, I shouldn't be here. If I just go back to my SD card here. So I don't know how to do this on other file browsers, but you can just tap there and press slash device. You then want to go system, app, and then scroll down. If you wait for these to load a bit and find what that app is called now i have actually just totally forgotten like an idiot let's have a look so perizano something so if we scroll down to this is an alphabetical order and you should see there it is it's called superuse.apk do not know why just select it press delete okay and it says read only system file. So if you get this, you just want to tap there, turn down, make sure Routing Explorer is on, then tap it, press mount RW and click RW on both. Now this is giving you permission to do everything um, stuff and you should now be able to delete that. And at this point, it should now be gone. And you can now do root properly. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
I know a lot of you have been asking for this, so I'm glad you can now start. Now, this is one of the many steps to being on your way to installing custom ROMs and things. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Takeify. See you another time.